your assignment will be based on this chapter number system first chapter in the ninth class so the numbers you know all the numbers we are studying now it is called as real numbers all the numbers are real numbers other than real numbers it is only complex numbers that you are studying only in 11th class so till 10th class we will be studying about real numbers only that real numbers are divided two types one is rational numbers other is irrational numbers so rational numbers you know already you already studied that it is in the form of p by q so every numbers you should know different numbers such as natural numbers odd numbers whole numbers even numbers prime numbers composite numbers they all come under the category rational numbers they all every number 2 3 4 2 by 3 5 by 6 5.2 like that numbers they all are coming under this rational numbers irrational numbers means which we cannot write in the form of p by q there are only some little numbers coming as irrational or little only some category means for example given here root 2 root 3 root 5 root 7 etc means root of this prime numbers root numbers means root 4 is not irrational because root 4 we know it is 2 so it is not irrational 2 is irrational but root 2 is irrational root of 2 no root of 3 root of 5 this all irrational another example is 2.5 like that uh, non terminating non repeating decimals these two are the irrational numbers other all numbers are rational numbers natural numbers all all numbers all odd numbers all even numbers all prime numbers they all are rational numbers so question will be asking finding ra- you can see first question here find six rational numbers between 4 and 5 so we want to find if it can be any numbers six numbers or seven numbers or whatever number asking for finding that a number of rational numbers first look here this question is given between 4 and 5 So you write in the form of p by q. So four means four by one and five means five by one. So here in this question we want to find six numbers. So that's why we want to multiply with a, a number more than six. You can take seven or eight or nine any number, but better take seven. So taking seven. So four by one and five by one. Complete numbers, complete terms, multiply with seven. So four and seven we get twenty eight by seven, and other we get thirty five by seven. Now between twenty eight and thirty five, we can easily find six numbers. Twenty eight after twenty eight number is twenty nine. So write the answer is twenty nine by seven, thirty by seven, thirty one by seven, thirty two by seven, till thirty four by seven. Between twenty eight and between thirty five, between these two, we can get the six numbers. So if our question asking find four numbers, then we have to multiply with the number more than four, five like that. Then you know decimal expansion. There are three types of decimals. One is terminating. Terminating meaning stopping, which is not continuing after it's stopping the. So example given three point four. It is it's stopping after four. Then five point six seven, like etc. Stopping the. It's terminating. Sometimes not stopping. It's called non-terminating. So non-terminating. There are two types. Non-terminating repeating and non-terminating non-repeating. So repeating means. In both case, it is not stopping; it's continuing. You can see two point four one four one four one continuing, etc. So that time it is repeating. Four one is repeating the second example thirty six point four 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 is repeating. So it is non terminating repeating. But third, you can see it is non repeating. It is not stopping, non terminating, but it is non repeating. So in these three types, only the third type, non terminating, non repeating, is irrational. Other two types are rational. terminating is rational all the terminating nas- numbers are rational all the non terminating repeating numbers also rational only non third type non terminating non repeating only are the irrational numbers you can see an example about a given the it is root 2 root 3 root 5 and below an example given the so these are the irrational numbers second question you can see write in the decimal form 3 by 13 in decimal form so question 3 by 13 you know it is p by q form So p by q form converting to decimal form. So it is very easy. All of you know how to divide the numbers. Just a division only. Three divided by thirteen. Simple division. Just divide the numbers. Then we can easily find the answer. Three. You look thirteen going in three, not going. So put there zero. It's not thirteen. It's not going. Don't write thirteen by three. It's three by thirteen. So thirteen. You want to check is going in three or not. So it is zero. Zero into thirteen. Zero. So subtract three minus zero. Three. Then we add one extra zero and put the decimal point. So in thirty, in thirty, thirteen is going how many times? We know thirteen twos are twenty six. 
13 to 26 so two times going so to write two above in quotient place above 0 0.2 2 came the so 2 into 13 26 then subtracting we get 30 minus 26 we get 4 then add 0 then continuing like that so when continuing it's very big step there at last we can see 0 answer get 0 0.23 0, 7, 6, 9. Then again, you can see it is repeating. Same number coming again. 2, 3, 0, again repeating. 2, 3, 0, 7, 6, 9. Then again, the starting number came. 2, 3, 0. So it is repeating. The, so answer is 0 0.230769. Then 2, 3, 0, 7, 6, 9. Like that, it will repeat, etc. So answer is non terminating, repeating. It is not stopping. It is continuing. It will never stop. It is non terminating, but it is repeating. Next two questions is converting to p by q form. Question given in decimal form, decimal 0 0.47 that bar, that bar meaning is repeating. You can see zero point, first question 0 0.47 bar, the bar is above 7 only. So 7 is repeating. So answer you can 0 0.47 bar meaning 0 0.47777. So like that going. So here question is to convert in P by Q. Just the opposite of last question. Previous question was given in P by Q form, you want to convert to decimal. That's simply dividing only. But here, question given decimal form, you want to convert P by Q form, means rational form. So question given 0 0.47 bar, whereas 0 0.47777, etc. Then we give let x e equal to 0 0.47777. That is equation number one. First equation. That one is out inside the box. First equation. Now here you look how many digits are repeating. Here only seven is repeating. The bar is above one number, only seven only. So here only one number is repeating. That's why you multiply with the 10. If two numbers repeating, multiply with the 100. If three numbers repeating, multiply with the 1000. So multiplying both sides with the 10. 10 into x. You know 10 into x is 10x. Then others right side, RHS right side. 10 into 0 0.47. What if you know 10 into 0 0.47 is 4.77. So, you get 10x equal to 4.77, etc. That is second equation. Now, simple and just to subtract that two equation. Equation number second equation and the first equation subtracting. Second minus first. So, when you're subtracting two equation, you know, first we subtract LHS, then we subtract RHS. So, 10x LHS of second equation. 10x here minus, minus x equal to then RHS. 4.77 minus 0.477. So 10x minus x, we know 9x. 10x minus x is 9x. Then 4.7, just subtracting all of you, not to subtract two decimals. 4.77 minus 0.477. We answer as 4.3. So 9x equal to 4.3, changing side, 9 taking to right side. So x equal to 4.3 divided by 9. That just removing decimal by multiplying the 10. On numerator and denominator, multiply the 10. So we get 43 by 90. That is beautiful. Same as second part also. Question given 0 0.001 bar. The bar is above the three numbers 0, 0, 001. So here three numbers are repeating. Num question will be 0 0.001, 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 001, 0, 0, 001, etc. Continuing like that. So we starting step same. Let x equal to that 0 0.01, 0, 0, 0, 001, etc. Then add to give equation number first. Then here three numbers repeating. So multiplying the thousand. So thousand x equal to thousand into the number thousand into you know multiplying it 1.001001 etc so second equation so second equation minus first equation we get thousand x minus x equal to one minus and subtracting last we get 999x equal to 1.00 1 1.00 means it is one itself so x equal to 1 by 999 Next is representing irrational numbers on number line. All of you know how to represent rational numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 on number line. Drawing a line and marking 1, 2, 3, 0, 1.1, 1 1.1 we can mark. But irrational numbers root 1, root 2, root 3, root 2.5, root 2.6 are their numbers represent. For example, I'm taking root 6.8. How to draw root of root of 6.8 on number line? Not 6.8, it is root 6.8. So the step is take scale, draw a line of length 6.8 cm, starting with 0, 6.8. At 6.8, just your mark keep open point. Then don't take scale, just to draw an extra 1 cm more. 
that means total 6.8 plus 1, 7.8. But we need to mark that both points. 6.8 you mark one smaller point and 7.8 another point. Next you want to draw the perpendicular bisector of the line segment. Total line segment means so you need to pass keeping at the starting point and ending point taking more than half draw two arcs on both sides that should be too much small that arc length should be at least more than half of the total length total 7.8 not 6.8 which to me 6.8 but we are marking 7.8 the arc and meeting points both meeting points join them now we get the middle point of that line now keeping compass at that middle point you draw one semicircle semicircle means first starting point and ending point pencil should be starting from ending starting point and ending point you draw one semicircle like this next we should draw a 90 degree angle from the point 6.8 so you already know where is 6.8 though so keep center of protractor at 6.8 and mark 90 degree on the protractor and using scale we are drawing the points remember we are drawing start from the point 6.8 where is 6.8 and at that point we are drawing the line now what should do is that first line instead of produce that simply any length simply keep the scale there and just to produce one big line and keep one big line now keep the compass at that 6.8 point you have to keep at 6.8 and draw one arc from the point line. to mark the marking the representing the point zero. Zero should be at the point six point eight. And using scale each one centimeter. So starting zero you keep at six point eight. So that end of the line seven point will be one. And two, three, four, five like that. And backward you know it will be minus one, minus two like that. So do you mark zero, one, two, three and that shall be kind of scale this so that you can mark the points. Should be correct to one centimeter and scale one, two, three like Mark the points 1, 2, 3 are coming. So it will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, etc. 0 will be at the point where you are drawn 6.8. Now we need to do 6.8. So starting from 0 and ending where that arc is stretching on the line. Till the your drawing. That will be root of 6.8. So drawing root 6.8. Now these are the questions you should do as assignment from home.